Hey everyone. So this week in the mail I received a box that contains six of these Thundershot Rimfire targets. Uh, thank you Griffin Energetics for sending these to me, I really appreciate it. Um, they saw that I had a high-speed camera, this Kronos 1.4 over here, and I was posting footage, so they said, hey, we'll send you some uh, exploding targets, can you film them with your high-speed camera? And of course I said yes. I also brought the competing product, which is SureShot Rimfire Magnum. Other than that, um, the, there's no baggie in here. I mean, there's a baggie for the uh, sensitizer, the aluminum powder, but you basically mix it in the container, whereas in the case of these, you um, there's a plastic bag inside here. You mix it in the plastic bag, and then, uh, and then you put it back in the jar. And I have found that my hands get really messy because of that, that dirty, dark aluminum. So I do appreciate being able to mix in the jar and not making a giant mess everywhere and all over my hands and getting that on my guns and whatnot. And uh, other than that, one of the big things that these get, well, they have different colors on, on the three sides. So if you're shooting uh, over different colored backgrounds, you can choose from these four colors. Um, and the jar is square, so if you get a glancing blow on the, a glancing hit on the side of these, you just go through maybe one or two centimeters of composition. If you get a glancing blow on these, you'll go through the entire thickness of the jar. So that's the idea behind the square containers. And uh, last but not least, these guys have a Canadian flag on here, and I believe these ones are made in Canada, but uh, they're under license by SureShot USA, so it's not an entirely Canadian company. If you like but to buy a Canadian, this is Canadian owned, it's Canadian manufactured, and I think the jars are even made in Canada. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I meant here. This is the SureShot, the container's completely full. So on one hand, when you hit the top, when you hit the lid here, this is, will go off. But it's it's so crammed, and then this this stuff actually, this um, composition, it's not just ammonium nitrate in here. There's also a really fine white powder, and I don't know if you can tell, but it tends to cake up. These bags get really difficult to get out of here. It's not the end of the world. It's not that huge of a deal, but you do have to take the bag out and knead it to break all of the little clumps in there. And uh, it is kind of annoying because oftentimes the clumps will puncture the bag and, well, you know what happens then. The, um, the aluminum in this is very, very, um, how can I put this, it stains a lot. It leaves a silvery residue which uh, makes it really, really messy to handle. So when you get punctures in the bag, your finger, your hands get dirty. Uh, okay, sorry, the lighting's kind of shit here, but uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this here. I just want to spend more time on the actual high-speed footage. So, we're going to pour that in here. And right off the bat, what do I notice? Um, I don't know if you can tell there, but there's little shiny particles in there. So the formula of that sensitizer is definitely different from the rifle targets. But, uh, I should have shown this before I closed the jar, at the bottom, of the, look at the bottom of the jar, there's no thin, fine white powder in here, so you're not going to get any caking. We're going to set up the high-speed camera here and pick some uh, interesting frame rates for you, and hopefully we can get some half-decent shots. Hope everybody enjoys them. Okay, got your shot rimfire. So uh, I apologize, I stopped the recording because I'm so used to pressing the record button on this Sony camera, which I'm, which I normally use for high-speed footage, that as soon as that thing went off, I went and pushed the, the stop button. So we didn't get uh, much of an aftermath. So I'm very sorry about that, guys. Um, the next one will be better, I promise. Okay, now we're gonna shoot the competitor, which is SureShot Rimfire. High-speed camera is running at the same settings. Uh, I forgot to check the aperture on the first time around, but I think it's around the same. Couldn't really tell. It sounded about the same.
Okay, so I got my kitchen scale out and we're gonna weigh these targets and see how much you get for your money. And because this is an explosive slash gun video, we got our manly rabbit bowl here that we're gonna use to uh, weigh these. So I've wrestled this sure shot target out of the container. It's in a bag like this and the sensitizer comes in a separate bag. I will show you these clumps here. This is my biggest beef with these targets, the most annoying thing. You've got these big clumps that form and like these are hard man, I'm a, I'm a wuss but oh, I can't squash that. And you actually have to put this on a hard surface and push down on it with a piece of wood or a, some kind of tool. And when you do that, it tends to puncture this bag. The other thing that tends to puncture this bag is when you use a knife to cut this little tie off. And then, uh, of course, you, you put the sensitizer into this bag here, and then you twist it and hold it and shake it. Well, your hands get all covered in this uh, aluminum powder because you've got all these holes in here from all the kneading and all the cutting that you've done. So the baggie, a good idea in theory, but in practice, um, I think putting a twist tie on this would help. And I don't know, this, I don't know what they can do about this caking situation, but it would be nice if they could do something about it because this is really the most annoying part of these targets is that caking. So, um, well, let's put it on the scale here. I guess I have to zero it first. Okay. Okay, 256 grams. And then uh, I will mention that, like I said before, when you mix this target, the composition sits about flush with the bottom of the lid, so you have quite a big area you can hit. If you hit the lid, uh, it will not go off. What you have to do is tilt the target forward to get the all the, the composition to sit sort of at the top here and then you can hit anywhere on the container including the lid. The Thundershot's the same except there's more space in the top so that makes it quite a bit easier to mix. It gives, just gives more room for the, the chemicals to uh, swish around and mix better. Now, you can mix this in the container, but like I said, it comes up to here, so there's very little room, very little uh, shake room in there, so it takes quite a long time to mix this in this container. And then the seals aren't very good, so I found that when you try mixing in the container, for some reason or another, um, that aluminum powder tends to leak out from the top here and get on your hands anyway, so there's, there's not really any... It's kind of a no-win situation unless you mix in a separate container. So I wish SureShot would come up with some kind of solution to, the, to that problem. Uh, Thundershot has a solution. And again, because you have a, a pretty deep region of the container here that has no exploding target in it, you do have to uh, tip this forward when you're shooting it so that the, the composition goes all the way up to the top of the lid. And that way if you hit the lid, you still detonate the target. So anyway, enough talk. Let's see how much product you actually get. In these. Two hundred and sixty four grams. So you get a little bit more than in the sure shot rimfire targets. Probably statistical error that you know seven grams difference is pretty negligible. So I think we can probably say that uh, in both cases you get a little bit more than advertised. 